Okay. Right. Sure. Wrinkle that. Okay. All right. Frankie. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I need you to come down. Uh. Okay. Uh. Uh, Kalik, uh, just take just taking a moment, uh, assessing any hazards in the way. Just one moment. Okay. Okay. Hold on to the banister. If we don't trip, we don't oh my God. ruin anything new. Okay. Oh, this is where I gotta crouch. I gotta use them as height. Okay. And. Okay, we're good. Hi! Frankie! Hey, Hi. Uh, I'm preparing some dinner stuff for, for us today, and I was wondering, mm -hmm. what do you feel like e eating today? I was thinking about making some pasta today. Or, uh, uh, pasta? Or maybe some fettuccine alfredo. Um, is it plain pasta, like with nothing on it, just the, this, the noodles? No, it's pasta with like meatballs and marinara sauce. Mm. I could even go the extra mile, maybe make a lasagna, actually. Ooh, that sounds good today. Isn't that, isn't that more messy? Like... I guess depending on how messy of an eater you are. Um, can we make something less messy? Okay. Is something a little, a, maybe, maybe, um, I don't know. Uh, maybe like just bread. Just bread. Bread. You mean like the white piece of breads I have in there? Yeah. Frankie, just what's those. wrong? Nothing. Nothing's wrong. I'm just avoiding things uh -huh. like corners and and chairs and tables and uh you gotta wash out that corner that rugs up someone's gonna trip okay if you don't crave sure. any of that i can always make a soup okay what kind what kind of soup uh i could make some galdo make some galdo and uh put some vegetables in it some meat you know i think i'm gonna have the bread the bread sounds good is it in here then the... Next to Enter's Doritos, yes. Okay, can you grab that for me? I don't want to touch it. Frankie, what's wrong? N nothing! Nothing's wrong! Frankie, you're all. so excited to eat. That that's why I'm making all this different stuff for you. Like you've I, never I, had I know, pasta. I know. I just uh, I'm just nervous with my suit. I don't want to ruin it. So so I'm trying to avoid messy things, I'm trying to avoid dirty things. I mean I've been I've been polishing my toes. It's really weird. Oh my god, you're acting like this is a brand new phone for you, aren't you? I mean, it technically is. I I'm just nervous, because you, you know what happened with my other suit. I, I don't want to... Okay, you still haven't told me what the heck happened to that in that incident. And you're never going to know. I don't want anyone to know. Okay. Only Ender knows. He was there. He saw and what Ender happened. won't tell me either, by the way. Because he swore we made a picky promise. <sighs> Look, okay. I just, I, I don't want to ruin this. It's it's new, and I'm excited about it, but I'm also scared because oh. I don't want it to break. Oh, yeah, and apparently your uncle knows, but he refuses to tell me too, actually. Yeah, also invasive much. He didn't even ask me. He just went in my mind. He does that. Rude. Look. He's nice, though. Besides that part. I didn't like that part. Yeah, I also learned that you met Funtime Freddy as well. Funtime Freddy's interesting. You can say that! You can yeah. very much say that! Anyway, something. Mm, anyway, uh... Mm, mm, mm. But, Frankie, you can't hide from the world. I'm not gonna hide from the world. I might just, you know, wrap myself up in bubble wrap and go outside. Really? What? I just don't want to break anything. I don't know how durable this is. Uh, what if I chip the paint? Frankie, it's not paint anymore. And what is it? Okay. Do you know how the whole bioorganic thing started? No, not at all, actually. I, I don't know anything. Michael never told me anything. And I, I don't think Michael understands it either. Okay, so originally there was very few animatronics in the world. Mm -hmm. Your grandfather, well, granduncle, grandfather, no, grandfather, grandfather. You wouldn't- Phantom Freddy is no family of ours. Golden Freddy is our only grandfather. That's the scary one, right? Yes. Okay. <sighs> anyway, Golden Freddy, when he was born, he was born a very special individual. He was born a half-mechanical, half-bioorganic being, alongside very other, very few others. But mm. the difference between him and the others were, well, he had power. He had magic. And uh oh oh like 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 uncle like uncle's magic 
We did the the, the hobbity bibbity bobbity boobity or something like that. But your grandpa is very much more powerful, like beyond comprehension kind of powerful. Hmm. Because he protects this world from threats that we never see. Is he, is he like a god? He doesn't like to call himself that. Okay, is he like a entity? Don't call him that either. Uh, is he just really strong? Not that he doesn't want to be called that, but mainly because I think that's just a rude thing to call him. Oh, sorry. Sorry. But anyway, but uh, but no, yeah, he is, he is extremely powerful. But from what I was saying is, as he and the others grew up, he and the others have this blessing, curse, depending on who you ask, honestly, of long life. Essentially making themselves able to outlive everyone. That was scary. It is, and we and I we don't know whether or not it's hereditary or not. Hmm. But anyway, as he grew up, he made a wish. A wish is a very powerful spell. Basically, you have to give up something in return for that for the wish. Oh, ooh, what? What do you do? What do you do? He gave up his voice. That's why he sounds the way he does. Yeah, his voice. Yeah, like he didn't always sound like hello and all that. He actually sounded uh very much to have a deeper voice. Hmm. And what that wish was for bio-organic animatronics. And that's how we were made? Not in a sense. It, it helps explain you. You see, after that wish, Golden Freddy had a kid. The first mm -hmm. natural-born animatronic. Okay. My brother. Yeah. Freddy. And soon I was born from Golden Freddy's brother. And, well, I got adopted by him. We grew up. And, well, you were born. Well... You were created, actually. I was gonna say, I was, I'm was i kind of like a Frosty the Snowman situation, I, I think. But the wish affects every animatronic, meaning that mm. you are also bioorganic as well. And how the magic spell works is it changes how much of bioorganic you are depending on how you, much you see yourself as it. The wish doesn't force people, animatronics, to become bioorganic if they don't wish to be. Like Sun and Moon. They don't see themselves as it. They're full animatronics. Cool. But you, you see this as your skin. You feel like everything that touches your skin, right? Yeah, which is why I'm so cautious. But that means that this has become a part of you, meaning that if you ever get hurt or cut or anything, your body will naturally heal. Like, look at this. Look at my arm right here. You see this You see this scar right here? Yeah. Monty, when we fir during our first week, he decided to toss things at me. Cut me right across the arm. Hmm. But you see how it's scarred up. Yeah. Meaning that it was my skin that was cut. The rules of the bioorganics isn't clean cut. There are exceptions. There are things that happen that change the rule for some people. It honestly, it the wish is like a being where it picks and chooses what it wants and such. Is that why Freddy's so dirty? Yes. That makes a lot of sense now. But also... You'll see right here, when I when I rub your arm, it's fur, mm. even where the blue paint is, where it was supposed to be, it's... Yeah, it's kind of like fuzzy and weird. Meaning that even if you were to bump your leg right here, it won't chip the paint, you'll just go, ow, and that'd be it. I don't know if I want to intentionally hurt myself. Okay, you don't have to, but... But, but I, I, get, I get what you mean. But these are now your clothes now, too, meaning you can actually change your outfit if you want to. I can change clothes. Yes. Even though me and your mother and everyone else kind of wears the same outfit 24-7. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of just like another part of us in a sense, I, I guess. Yeah, but essentially the magic transforms us into what we want to be. You see yourself as fully bioorganic now, meaning that you can eat, you can sleep, you can enjoy life. Taste food? Yes, and that means is, even if you get your clothes dirty, guess what? You can just wash them in the washer. Then it won't ruin anything on me? No. Not unless your clothes is dry clean only. Oh, I hope it's not dry clean. Eh, I'll, I'll find a tag on it. So, eating food and, and, and bashing into things and germs, that that's okay? Yeah. As long as I clean? And, and I take care of it. Yeah, and you know something else I've been meaning to tell you, though? What? It's been a couple days since you've had that suit, right? Yeah. Have you showered? No. Frankie? Yeah. Do I smell? Yes, you do. Like, sweat. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. You're gonna go upstairs. You're gonna go throw your clothes in the wash, take a shower, and when you're finished in the shower, I'll drop back off your clothes that have just been cleaned. But aren't we having spaghetti? I don't want to sit across from you when you smell like this. But then, but then I'd get messy again. <sighs> Upstairs in Gregory's closet. Oh, both your guys' closet now, I guess. 
There's a he there's a bottle of a cologne that I got Gregory a long time ago. Go put it on. Okay. All right. I'll do it. Uh also, thanks for the history lesson. I appreciated it. I I wanted to know about this stuff, but Michael really doesn't know much. He doesn't know much because I've he hasn't been told that much. Mm -hmm. This is cool. I really am like Frosty the Snowman. Frankie the Snowman. Ha la 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 la. la. <laughs> uh, he has a lot to learn.